in today's session, we will discuss about the types of unemployment. There are four types of unemployment. The first one is known as the frictional unemployment, second, structural unemployment, third, seasonal unemployment, and fourth, demand deficient or cyclical unemployment. For today, we will discuss the frictional unemployment. When we say frictional unemployment, note that even in the context of market equilibrium or full employment, frictional unemployment will still be there in the economy. The reason is some people will always be moving between jobs and some workers will quit jobs to search for other opportunities or for better employment opportunities. Therefore, this is creating frictional in the job market. Actually, this is good to the economy because it creates dynamics for the economy to improve and become more efficient through the adjustment by workers in the system. Here are some reasons why there exists frictional unemployment. The first one is due to information flows are imperfect. For example, information about the characteristics of those searching for work are unknown to the potential employers. And to the workers, the nature of jobs opening are also unknown to them. It takes time for this information to go through the system for people to filter and make their rational decision. The next reason why we have frictional unemployment is because it takes time and effort for unemployed workers and potential employers to find each other. This point refers to the matching process between potential workers and the potential employers. Third, it is also common even during the time of full employment for the economy and for the job market to have random fluctuations. Some firms may close or may lay off workers at the same time that other firms are opening or expanding their businesses. So this is common and always happening in the economy. In this diagram, we will see the position of frictional unemployment where if we look at the original supply and demand curve indicated by S0 for the original supply and D0 for the original demand. In this position, the economy is at the equilibrium point indicated by employment level of E0 and the equilibrium which of W0. Now, even at this state of full employment level, there are those workers who are unemployed and that reflects the case of frictional unemployment. And even when there is an adjustment in the job market where let's say that the demand shifts from D0 to D1 and in this case, we will find that at the new equilibrium point as indicated by this new equilibrium, we'll find the employment level in the economy now drops from E0 to E1, assuming that the wage rate is sticky. In other words, in the short run, the wage rate remains at W0. So 
the point of this diagram is to show that even when there is an equilibrium position achieved, frictional unemployment still exists. Now let's move to the theory of job search. The level of frictional unemployment is determined by two important things. The first one is the flow of individuals into and out of the labor market. And second, the speed with which unemployed individuals find and accept jobs. So, the flow in and out and the speed of the matching process. Now, in the model of job search to describe the process of this frictional unemployment in the economy, due to imperfect information as we have discussed earlier, it takes time and effort to match between unemployed workers and job vacancies offered by firms. So here, it is important to look at the following probability or fraction. The lower the probability of unemployed workers finding jobs in a given period, therefore, the longer will be the duration of the unemployment and the higher will be the unemployment rate in the economy. Recall our stock flow diagram where this probability of fraction PUE indicates the fraction of those unemployed who then find jobs in the economy. If this fraction is low, that means the probability for these unemployed workers to find jobs is low. And as a consequence of that, the longer will be the duration of them being unemployed and the higher will be the level of unemployment rate in the economy. So, given the level of this probability, it is important to know what can affect the level of this probability. Therefore, we are discussing about the theory or a model. And for this model, here are some of the key assumptions. The first one, we will assume that the wage level are associated with the characteristics of jobs and not the characteristics of the workers. And then employers differ in the set of minimum hiring standard. Let's say K, I denote the hiring standard. Each firm will have different standard of hiring and this different standard can be characterized as follows. The educational requirements, uh, job training requirements, work experience and performance on hiring tasks. The set of attributes or characteristics can be represented as K, as I mentioned earlier. Now, associated with each job is a wage, and this expression is a wage function. In other words, wage rate is an increasing function of K. What is K? K is the standard set by the firms. Therefore, if there are two firms requiring the same standard, okay, they will offer the same wage rate. So that's some basic assumptions of the model. Moving on, different employers have different hiring standard as stated earlier, denoted as K. This implies that there will be a distribution of wage. We will see a diagram to describe the distribution of which offers here. And this which offer is associated with job vacancies in the labor market. 
which is denoted as this which distribution or also known as the probability distribution of which offers given the which distribution all areas under the which distribution will equal to one it is also assumed that workers know the shape of the distribution we assume later that this distribution is a normal distribution but the worker doesn't know what each firm's hiring standard will be and therefore the which that worker will be offered therefore job search process will be random in other words when you look for jobs the process of you finding the matching will be by a random visit to firms the next thing to note here is the hiring standard and the wage associated with that standard are highly related no firm will hire a worker that does not meet the hiring standard now this is the wage distribution so note the vertical axis here it measures the distribution of which offer we assume that the distribution is a normal distribution all areas under this distribution equal to one it tells us about all possible which offers in the economy the horizontal axis here measures the which rate if job market information is imperfect and a firm's hiring standard exceeds K star. A person with skill level K star is rejected for the job. To make it easier for you to understand, let's say if the hiring standard set by a firm is more than K star, that means we are talking about the following region here therefore any worker with k star level or less will be rejected for the job because firms set higher standard for the job next if the hiring standard is k star or less the person with skills level k star is offered the jobs in other words we are talking about this region or regions to the left of this distribution whether the worker accept the job offer depends on few factors the first one it depends on job offers accumulated what this means if you visit more firms you will accumulate more job offers and given a lot of job offers available to you now you can choose which job offers provide for example higher which and that could be one way how you decide next acceptance of workers towards the job offer also depends on the individuals reservation which denoted as wr as shown in this diagram wr is indicated here wr for every individual worker is different so at this wr level if the job offer is less than wr let's say the firms that require k star standard offers any which indicated by this region because this particular worker has a reservation which of wr the worker will decline the job offer so this area basically indicates the area where the probability of the worker will accept any job offer given by the firm
so the position of the reservation which is important if the reservation which is higher let's say uh, we move it somewhere here let's say this is the new wr compared to the earlier one at this level now the probability for this person to accept any job offer is much smaller because uh, it is given by a smaller region under this distribution function and the third factor on the acceptance of the job offer is depending on the match between job standard k and which rate offered w within the level of reservation wage wr and the w star and k star function here as i have explained earlier it describes the size of this region under the distribution function if the reservation which is more to the left and w star k star is more to the right you will have for example here right you will have much wider a region under the distribution it indicates higher probability for a particular worker to accept the job so this is the main theory that explain about job search we talk about the reservation wage just now so what is reservation wage in short it is the wage rate below which a person will not work it shows the value a worker place on an hour of lost leisure time a person who has skill level k star and whose reservation which is wr as shown in the diagram earlier will accept job offers that pay between w r and w star k star so i have explained this next we also find that the higher the probability of hiring a job in the range between w r and w star k star the lower the expected duration this is important the expected duration we talk about duration of unemployment and the expected average wage if the choice of wr is higher that means if you if we refer back to our diagram earlier if wr is more to the right of its original point the following can be expected the worker will reject more low wage jobs and therefore the expected wage would be higher and then rejecting more job offers decreases the probability of finding a job thus increasing the expected duration of unemployment if you set your reservation wish to be much higher than other potential workers expect that your duration of being unemployed to be longer than the rest i think that's all for this session inshallah see you next time wassalam